Hello and welcome back to Side High Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable voltage power supply with using a TIP122 Darlington transistor. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need a multiple output jack cable, which will connect to this 12 volt 4 amp power supply. You're also going to need a perf board and a 1N4007 rectifier diode, a TIP122 Darlington transistor, a 10K ohm potentiometer, a knob, and a voltmeter. And this right here is a schematic that you're going to need to follow to make for this project. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. First, I'm going to take the 10K ohm potentiometer and put it into the perf board. Solder it into place. And there, solder it into place. Next, take the transistor and place it into the perf board. I want to place it in this orientation. And now bend over the leads and bend over the base over to the center pin of the potentiometer. And I'll bend over the collector over to the far end of the potentiometer. And then take the emitter and bend it the opposite direction. Solder everything into place. And I'll solder bridge the base over to the center pin of the potentiometer. And then solder bridge the collector to the other pin of the potentiometer. And there we go, the base and collector is now solder bridge to the potentiometer. Next, take the rectifier diode. This is cathode, this is anode, and I want to connect the cathode over to the potentiometer. Place it into the perf board, just like this. Bend over the leads, and bend over the cathode over to the free pin of the potentiometer. Solder it into place. And now solder the cathode over to the potentiometer. Cut off the excess. Next, I want to connect the negative input of the circuit, which is right here, and the positive input of the circuit, which is right here. I want to connect those inputs to the output wires of the power supply. Next, take an estimation of how long this wire is supposed to be. I think this length and position looks good to me. Hold it in place. And simply cut it. Remove the insulation. Solder tin it. And I'll solder the positive to the positive input and the negative to the negative input. And there, the output wires are now connected to the input. Next, cut off the excess lead of the emitter of the transistor. Next, I'm going to take this output DC jack cable, which came from the output cable from the power supply. And as you can see, I solder tinned it, and I'm going to take the positive and connect it to the emitter. And I want to take the negative and connect it to the anode of the diode. Cut off the excess of the diode, and I'll solder the positive wire to the emitter, and then take the negative wire and solder it to the anode of the diode. And there, the circuit is almost complete. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Plug it in, and take a multimeter to check the polarity and to see if the circuit works. And as you can see, it is set at 12.2 volts, and that's on maximum. Turn the potentiometer, and as you can see, the lowest voltage is 2.2 volts. There, as you can see, it works. Next, I'm going to modify the output cable. Simply cut it. I want to connect this DC jack cable to this multiple jack cable. So that way, this device can power multiple devices. A useful tip to identify which is positive and negative. The positive is always the white cable, and the negative is always the black cable. 
Next, I'm going to take the voltmeter and connect it to the circuit. And I think the voltmeter, placing it right here, looks good. And the circuit, placed over here, looks good. voltmeter over to the anode of the diode and then take the signal and a positive wire from the voltmeter and solder it to the emitter of the transistor. Add a little more solder to solder in place better and now it's time to test it out. Plug it in and there it works. Oh how interesting instead of 12 volts it's 10 volts. Check the potentiometer and yes it's set on maximum. That's interesting. So originally it was 12 volts, but now it's 10 volts. I think this voltmeter drew more power from the circuit, so therefore it dropped it down to 10 volts. I find that very interesting. Next, take some hot glue and glue down the circuit. Add some more hot glue and glue down the voltmeter. Next, add some more hot glue to glue down the wire so it stays in more secure. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the knob and place it on the potentiometer. Not very necessary, but in my opinion, it looks nicer. Next, I'm going to take the output wire and connect it to the multi-output jacks. Remove the insulation. Solder tin it. Take some shrink tubing. Place it over, just like this. And now solder all of the positives to positives and negatives to negatives. And there, all of the negatives are now connected. Move the shrink tubing, shrink it. And repeat the same process with the positive wires. And there, all of the wires are now connected. And there, the project is now complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. Plug it in. And as you can see, it works. Hmm, how interesting. Turn it down to the minimum, turns off the voltmeter, so I have no idea what the minimum is going to be. But I do know it's going to be at least 2 volts. And as soon as the voltmeter turns on, it says 3 volts. This means the rating of this power supply is 3 volts at 10 volts. Now it's set at 3 volts. Plug in the LED. And as you can see, it lights up. Adjust the voltage to 5 volts. Next test, I'm going to take the Arduino Uno and plug in the output jacks and see if it works. And there, the LED on the Arduino Uno lights up, which means it works. Unplug that jack and plug in this jack. And it works. Unplug the other jack and try another one. And it still works. And as you can see, this one is a little bit too small. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own adjustable voltage power supply with using a few simple components, such as a TIP122 Darlington transistor and a voltmeter, and of course, a power supply. Thank you for watching SciTech Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTech Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.